Welcome into the HSGC Basketball app tutorial. And what we're going to do here is go over the team dashboard where all of your information for your team will be located. So you're going to go ahead to the hsgamecenter.com website and you're just going to click sign in in the upper right corner once you already have your account. And then you'll just go ahead and fill this in. And select login. And once you've logged in, you'll be taken to a page where you can go ahead and select your team. So if you have multiple teams, they'll be listed right here underneath where my team is listed. I just have the one, which is Richmond Heights. So I'm going to go ahead and select view. And that is going to take me to my team dashboard. Now there's a couple different things that you can get to on your team dashboard. The first being the schedule. So if I click on schedule, as you can see, here is where your games will be scheduled as you enter them in. If you'd like to create a new game, just go ahead and select the new create new game button. Make sure you have 2013 uh, or your newest season there picked. And all you have to do is it's very simple. Just simply go in and select if you're the home team, if it's regular season, postseason tournament, or scrimmage, uh, the date of the game. You can do that by selecting on this calendar, changing the time with this slider. Um, make sure your time zone is correct. And then to choose your opponent, you can either go in and pick a team from your conference, from your state. You can search by different states, or you can put in uh, a new team if you can't find your opponent or you're playing a non-high school team. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and click on Ohio Schools, which will prompt me up all of the Ohio Schools in alphabetical order. I'll just select, for instance, here, letter C. All my C teams will come up. I will go ahead and just select one and then review the game, make sure that's all correct, select save game, and then the game will now appear in my schedule um, right there. From Also from this page, you can go in here, you can select edit and change the time, the date, the opponent of the game, or you can select these arrows and you can see the public view page, which is what your fans will follow along with in the live stats and scores as you're entering the stats in during the game. So this is a page that you'll send out or link up to your school's website so that people can follow along with the stats of your game. Or other things you can do in here would be, like I said, to go in and edit the game, the time, the opponent. You're able to delete the game here. And quick entry is something that we'll show you here in later tutorials as a way to go in and either enter, bulk enter your stats if you weren't able to stat it live during your game, or after a game is already completed, going back and making changes to the stats that you already have in there. That will be done in quick entry. But for now, we're just going to move on here to other aspects of the dashboard. So I've shown you the schedule, and you can print that out from this print page here. Now let's go into the roster. So you select roster, and you see I've got one player in here for my team. I'm going to add another one. So all I need to do is just go to create player, put in the player's name and his jersey number. I can put in his alternate jersey number and a parent email if you want the parents to be sent emails uh, with team stats later on. Uh, but for now, I'll just go ahead and select Create, and it will create that player um, just that easily. You can go, always go back in and select Edit and edit the player's name or jersey number. If you want to enter your team roster in, in bulk, you can simply do that by putting your team roster in a CSV file, uh, like in an Excel file, um, by putting them the jersey number, the first names, and the last names in different columns, and then saving it as a CSV and then you're able to go in and click Upload Roster and upload them in bulk. So for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and create a few more players, just so we've got a starting five. And as you can see, it will go ahead and sort your players in numerical order on your roster page. Now moving along the dashboard, the reports. The reports page is going to be where all of your statistics are. We'll go over those more in depth with a reports tutorial, but just know this is where you'll be able to find both your team cumulative and individual player cumulative stats as well as all your box scores. I don't have any stats in for this team yet so I won't actually have any reports 
but this is where you will find them. And then settings, um, if for whatever reason you've added a team that you don't want connected to your account, you can simply go ahead and cl uh, click remove from my team. So very simple on the dashboard, just make sure you're logged in on the upper right, select your team, and from there you can manage your schedule, your roster, your reports, and your settings. And as you see, what will happen is as soon as those are in, and you come over here to the app, and you go to schedule for instance, and you hit this refresh button, it's going to go ahead and update your games, players, teams, etc. And now it has added that game here that I, that I added in, the Canton South versus Richmond Heights game. And if I go to my roster, same thing, it has now pulled in those players right off of the HS Game Center. So hsgamecenter.com, your team's dashboard, and the app, uh, the HSUC basketball app, will um, connect with each other, both up and down uh, from one to the other to make it a very simple process to move information back and forth.